My name is Fernando Santesteban, and I want to share with you a new concept in file management. Since the introduction of DOS some 30 years ago, we have been storing our files in folders that need to have a hierarchical, tree-like structured organization. This works okay as long as you remember in what folder you placed your file, but sometimes this is not so easy to do. In Cubix, we represent all the information in your disk or directory in a 3D environment where you can filter, group, and sort your files. In cubixproject.com, you may see our first version of this program. Here, you can download a demo version for free or the full version for 555. Come on, let me show you how Cubix 1 works. Here we're running Cubix in the documents directory of the F disk. We have 469 files represented in one cube. We are going to assign the x-axis to the name of the files and this cube splits into 26 cubes that go from A, B, all the way down to Z with sizes that vary depending of, on the number of files they represent. We are going to assign the y-axis to the file extension so instead of getting a line of cubes we obtain this plane of cubes. I think that this is a neat way to organize your information alphabetically in the horizontal way and by file extension or file type in the vertical way. We're going to assign the z-axis to the sizes of the files and we obtain a 3D view where files that are in cubes in the lower plane have sizes in the kilobyte range and the ones that are in the upper range have sizes in the order of the megabytes. Actually, Cubix doesn't represent all the files by default. Here we are only seeing 141 of 469. This is because there are many strange names and file extensions. The 469 files look more like this. There are many cubes. Cubix also allows you to narrow down the number of, of cubes. Let me show you for example a picture of a sunrise in the beach. So I'm going to select only files that start with a B as in beach or an S as in sunrise. I'm going to select those that have a file extension of JPG since I know it's a picture and I'm not going to worry about the sizes of these files. So all these cubes narrow down to only two. Here I have the BJPG files and here the SJPGs. Inside this cube I have five files. One of them is the one I'm looking for, Beach Sunrise, so I can see its properties. I can mail it, delete it, copy or open it. You see here a beautiful sunrise at the beach. And I can do this in any disk or directory in my computer. Although Cubix version 1 works nicely, we think it has some opportunities for improvement. Let me introduce you to the Thinking View team. So here we have Nico and Wencha. They are both working in our project. Hi, Nico. Hi. How are I'm you doing? I'm fine. I'm working on the graphical interface uh -huh. and the 3D representation of files. Okay. Thank you, Nico. You're welcome. And here we have Wencha, who's Hello. also very concentrated. Uh, How are you doing, Wencha? Fine. I'm here seeing some code in Dreaming Code, testing it to, to hook up on the Windows Explorer. See if I have some success in doing this. <laughs> okay, so, okay guys, thank you very much. We'll go and visit Sergio. And here is the boss, the guy with the matrix-like desk. How are you doing, Sergio? Hi. <laughs> here we are developing a new Cubase interface, trying to be a little more friendly than the first one. <laughs> okay. Oh, we, we, are, we are going to be lucky. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I'll let you work. Okay, See you later. You. With this, guys, we think we can produce a great software that will be Cubix 2.0.
With this new version, we want to have the best of both worlds, the nice hierarchical structure of the folders plus the 3D view of all the folders in a disk. Cubix 2.0 will run as an add-on to Windows Explorer, keeping the same touch and feel and functionalities. You will be able to toggle between the folder view and the 3D view. As you may see, we have improved the design and we will allow different backgrounds and cube colors. We will make Cubix faster, optimizing the disk scanning algorithm and we will add more database features so that you can group, sort and filter files according to more attributes, for example month of creation, day of creation. We will also allow to group cubes. We think this is a great project that can really change the way we look at file managers and to do so we need your support. We would very much appreciate if you could help us by buying one of the products we have to offer. And if not, you can still do so by sharing this page with your friends or visiting cubixproject.com. We appreciate very much your time and attention and we hope to see you soon. Thank you very much.